Hope y'all are doing great, staying happy and healthy this year. I have a video where I'm just doing a roundup of my favorite products for this year. A lot of this stuff is not anything super new. It's things that I've had in my collection for at least a year now, but I still go back to them and use them a lot. So I figured it would be good to share just some of the things that I continue to love and use on a daily basis. None of this is sponsored. I bought all this stuff with my own moolah. There's no agenda to this. It's honestly like I love these makeup products so much. No particular order. Let me just dive right in. Um, let's start first with, I guess, foundation. You, if you, any of you have been watching my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with this foundation. I've been using it nonstop for a couple years now. I, this is probably my at least tenth bottle that I've bought. It's the Derma Blend Flawless Creator, and I don't hear a lot of people talking about this often, but it's super, super pigmented, very saturated. It comes in a drop bottle like this, and you can get it at Ulta. I think it's around forty dollars. So let me show you the consistency of this. It's a satin to dewy finish formula. So if you have oily skin, you may not like it, but if if you have dry skin like me it's like amazing super super pigmented do you see that what I've been doing on days that I don't wear a lot of foundation but I still want some coverage because I have a lot of redness and and eye bags <laughs> love being a mom but what I do is I can use it as concealer as well I just take it out of the dropper bottle and I have a dome brush like this and I pick up just a little bit on the side of it. I kind of blend it into the brush so there's not a lot of product on there. What I do is I just dust this on the skin. You can apply this on top of your powder too. So say you put your foundation on and maybe you just want a dewy effect or you need some extra coverage, you can dust this on top. It will not cake up. It doesn't get thick or greasy or any of that stuff. It just looks super glowy and fresh and amazing. Like look at that on my skin. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's the one foundation over the years that I consistently go back to. And then for a matte foundation, if I'm oily and greasy, especially now that I live in Houston, <laughs> it's hot and humid all the time. And this one, Milani one, it's inexpensive. You can get it at Target. It's a matte foundation. It's amazing. I love the packaging. I love that it has the little indent on the finger. What I do with this one is I apply it actually with a sponge and I just press it into here and then I just dab it on the skin and it just gives you a beautiful matte look but it's not cakey or heavy at all. They have a pretty good range of colors. You can get it at several drugstores. It's just a really great matte foundation. If you have oily skin or combination skin, this one's as well. Okay, then face products. I've been using this for a long time. I hope they still sell it. It's kind of, I, it's got to be like going on two years old now. I'm still using it. It's the Jouer Blush Duo. I got the rose gold one. I really like this shimmery side here. It's just a beautiful like shimmery kind of corally pink color. I use it almost every day and it's so beautiful. It's natural. It gives you a flush glow. What I like to do is just take a brush like this one, just something kind of fluffy and I pick it up on the side of it and then I just dust it on the cheeks and it's super natural. It's not overly pigmented. It just gives you a really pretty glow. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. And then for my face powder, I have tried so many face powders. I have tried drugstore. I've tried super expensive. I seem to always come back to this one. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. It looks like this. It comes in a few different colors. This is color number two. It's just super creamy. It sits well on the skin. I like to just take a little bit and just put this here on my T-zone where I tend to get a bit oily. I don't know what else to say about it. It just sits on the skin and really nice. It doesn't feel chalky. It feels smooth and buttery. And I like the fact that the case is super thin so I can throw it in my purse. It's not too bulky. I just feel like it's very elegant and sleek. So love, love, love that. And then you all know, I've been using this a lot too, is my contour stick. It's the Fenty Beauty one. I use the shade Mocha. And that's what I always use to kind of contour. I'll use it here under my chin to kind of get rid of my, <laughs> my chin fluff going on down there. <laughs> and then I just take a brush and buff it out. I'm really liking creams right now. I like contouring and bronzing with creams versus powders. I just feel like it's really easy to blend. You guys, I've tried literally every stick foundation that's out there and I consistently come back to this one because it's creamy. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. It doesn't stick. You know how sometimes when you put cream sticks and it's like sticks and you're like, uh, 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 
and it's hard to blend out. This isn't like that, but then it's not greasy either. Like, look at that. It's just a beautiful satin finish. So love this. Wear it every day. And then this concealer is a little bit new to me. I got it because I see Kate on Instagram. She's a professional makeup artist. She's amazing. I'll link her below, but she always uses this. And I was like, ooh, that looks like an interesting concealer. So I got it and it's really nice. It's the NARS Soft Matte one. And this one I use on days where I don't wear foundation. If I just want to cover a couple blemishes, maybe touch up under the eyes, I do. And I use that same brush. So It Cosmetics has a airbrush concealer brush like this, and I prefer using that. And what I do is I just, I just kind of swirl it in here. It's like therapeutic. I'm like, oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then what I do is I just dust it on the skin and just buff it in. I probably picked up too much product, you guys, but look how pigmented it is. So literally a little bit goes a long way and if you just buff it into the skin, like it just sits nice on the skin. It's matte, but it's not cakey. And then if you want to thin it out, you can always like mist your uh, brush with a misting spray, a toner or something like that. That will thin it out and you can use it almost as a foundation too. And they have a ton of colors to pick from, so there's something for everybody. The color I have right now, it's a little dark for me. It's medium one custard, but it's just... It's beautiful. Like, look at that on my skin. I like how I'm giving you guys a shot up my nose. That's just, that's flattering. And then the other skin product that I'm loving right now, and this is pretty new as well, it just launched as a Makeup Geek Skin Brilliance. And what this is, is a face elixir, and you can use it so many different ways. You can wear it on its own if you want to just give your skin a beautiful natural glow. You can wear it under foundation as a primer. You can wear it on top of the cheekbones for a highlighter. It's just so versatile. I even put it on my lips if I want to um, hydrate my lips and give them a little bit of a shine without actually wearing a lip product. So let me show you guys the um, look of that. So it's a water-based formula, so it's super lightweight, it's great for summer. So what I've been doing is um, on the days I don't wear anything, I just wear it on its own, put some mascara, I'm good to go. But if I do a full face of makeup, what I do is take, I take a sponge and I just put a couple drops on the sponge, just like that. And then I pat it on my hand to kind of get it in there and I do it, I do it, I apply it to the tops of my cheekbones like this. Let me show you guys how that looks on the skin. Do you see how it gives a natural glow? It's not glittery, it's not shimmery, it just gives you this beautiful glow that's so natural. It's, you can put it on top of your foundation because it's so thin, it's not gonna pick it up and make it streaky or anything. It just sits on the skin really beautifully. So, been love, love, loving that. Multi-purpose, wear it every day. And then, the last face product I have is this brand. It's new to me. I just started using it. It's Peach and Lily, and I got it from their site, peachandlilyithink.com. They have this glass skin veil mist, and my friend Kevin told me to get that. He's like, you gotta get it. It's amazing on the skin, so I got it. It's so, 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 so good. I used to use that Tatcha one, and it's so expensive, and I got this one. This one, to me, is better than the Tatcha one. It's so beautiful. It just gives you a hydrating look to the skin, and the mister on it, let me see if I can show you guys. You can't see it on camera. Anyways, it's such a fine mist, so it's not gonna, like, you know, squirt you in the eye or anything like that. It's just a great finishing spray that just gives you that beautiful glowy skin. I think they just started selling it at Ulta. I went to the Ulta the other day and I think I saw this, but if not, you can go to their site and get it. It's, it's amazing. Other product um, that I have for the eyes, I've been obsessed with these and it's the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. They're these cream eyeshadows. They're beautiful. I use these a lot underneath my eyeshadows as a base, and these two colors are my favorite. You can tell this one look like I'm, I've used it so much. This is Creme Brulee, which is a pink color. Let me show you. They're super pigmented, so a little goes a long way. You can use them on the rest of the face too. Like you can put them on the lips, on the cheeks, whatever, but I use them mostly on the eyes. This color is Rustic. And it's like an orangey brown color. It's beautiful too. I usually put this all over the lid under like Cheetah Bear from Makeup Geek to give me like a nice rosy brown color. But aren't those really, really pretty? She has a ton of colors, ton of finishes. She has some foiled ones. 
some glitter ones. Um, she has like a glossy lid, but I like the Color Fix mattes. I think they're amazing. They're so versatile. I love, love, love these. And then for eyeshadows, it's so overwhelming out there, you guys. There's so many palettes and stuff. I've been simplifying my eye makeup routine. I just use a couple single shadows now. These are not new shades at all, but I've been going back to them consistently. I'm actually wearing um, one of them today. So I like the Makeup Geek Berry Shady. There's something about berry eyeshadows that I feel is so flattering on everyone. It still feels a bit neutral to me, but it's not like just browns or grays. It's like a rosy color. Let me show you a swatch of it, but it's just like a deep rosy pink. That's what I'm wearing out here. And it's just so pretty and so wearable. I just put this all over the lid for like a rosy smoky eye, or I'll just put a little bit under the lower lash line just for a pop of color. And then I pair next to it. This is my all time favorite. Everyone's like, what's your favorite eyeshadow from Makeup Geek? Consistently, it is grandstand. Like if you get any one eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, you have to get grandstand because it's so gorgeous on everyone. Deep skin, fair skin, doesn't matter. It's everyday neutral. It's like a beautiful rose gold color. Like look at that. It's so gorgeous. And then this next to Berry Shady, like so pretty, so wearable for every day. So that's my go-to eyeshadows. And then I also do really like um, the lash curler and mascara. I've been using that every day since. So since COVID hit, I haven't worn a lot of makeup until recently, but I will put on mascara because I feel like when I, if I go out and run errands, I'm like, people will still see my eyes. So I got to put something on. So I do mascara, but I noticed a huge difference since I went back to using a lash curler. Do you guys remember? like the early 2010s like lash curlers were such a thing everyone was using them and then we just all stopped for whatever reason and then I started again recently I was like ah oh, it makes such a difference in how thick your lashes are like if I curl my lashes really good and then I put this mascara on top like you guys can see it I know I have some false lashes in there too but it's so thick and my eyelashes are so long looking and so full but I like this mascara because it has just a an easy one it's not too big it's not too little and it's super thick and it's really really black so it is like in your face just really thick lashes it's just a good all-around mascara like it's thickening it's lengthening it's gonna give you that really full and voluminous lash but it's still gonna look natural it just gives you a nice fluffy lash if that makes sense so love that and then my lips right now I have honestly just been into lip liners and a little bit of lip oil that's what I'm wearing now and I love these lip liners from makeup forever the ones I like are the ones that have the natural pencils like this and the two colors I have and use almost every single day is anywhere caffeine and then wherever walnut if you guys have seen me do my live videos or my tutorials on Instagram, you see me using these all the time. They're my go-to, just new colors. I have, which one am I wearing today? Anywhere Caffeine. It's this guy right here. Like, it's just a great everyday nude. It would look good on every skin color. And what I'll do is I'll fill in the lips a little bit and then just apply some lip balm, little lip oil on top. And it's so wearable, so easy. I just, I love these lip liners a lot. They're very creamy. They don't dry out my lips at all. Oh, and then the oil that I use, I've been loving this and it's inexpensive too. Sorry, it's all dirty because I use it a lot. It's the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. So I use this on my lips, on my hands. I use it on my face if I have dry patches. This is like multi-purpose. I use it for everything it's so cheap it's a full fluid ounce a little goes a long way but what I do is I'll put some on my lips after I line them with that lip liner and it just hydrates them and makes them super soft and what I'll do too because my hands get dry I'll put a couple drops of this on here and I'll kind of rub it on the back of my hands like this and then I'll put lotion on just to kind of set it in and get it to soak in. And it doesn't feel greasy. It just soaks right into my skin and makes it like super soft and hydrated. It's just, it's a great oil. I love it a lot. I mix it with my foundation if I need to. It's just multi-purpose, goes everywhere with me. <laughs> That is pretty much all of the products that I've been consistently using in the last year. So now that we're going out, I'm like, woo, I can pull out my favorites. And these have consistently, I always reach for. Love them. I use them all the time. Let me know if you guys like these just kind of check-ins, what I'm loving right now, because I, I just want to have fun with makeup again and just use things that I enjoy and I truly love. And have fun going out there. Look glamorous. Make yourself feel hot and sexy. Yeah. And have fun with your makeup, you guys. Bye. Thank you.